So Fauci said that he's not going to attend the White House correspondence mm-hmm. dinner stuff out of fears of COVID, which then I think clashes entirely with what he just said, which is fine. I don't even know why he why would he would go to this. I, I don't I, again, this event shouldn't even be held in the first place because sure. it's stupid, not sure. because of health risk, but because the event is stupid and Fauci doesn't need to be involved in it. So I don't care that he's going to skip out on partying and that whole, you know, the whole watching uh, the political class and the celebrity class party massless and take all sorts of COVID risks that they then disdain other people for taking, you know, while the serving people are masked up. And But does that give you any pause? Does it make you concerned that there are, for example, it's not just, you know, Fauci not wanting to go to a mass event. You know, if he's the expert and he doesn't want to go, does that make you feel at all like maybe he knows something that I don't know and we're all being cattle herded back into public spaces because we have to get businesses open and there's economic reasons for us to want to keep going on. You see Kamala Harris getting COVID and taking more time away from the office and the CDC recommendations. It's a little bit, you know, do what I say, not what I do Mm. from the experts in the room. I get what you're saying. Now, I I think they... They enjoy the performative over caution still. Mm-hmm. Like, look, no, I'm going to wear two masks. I'm going to, it's that kind of attitude among, that's what, that's what uh, the certain, a certain kind of political constituency on the, uh, not on the left, but in the democratic circles demands, I guess, is just absolute fealty to what I think is gone way too far levels of caution from epidemiologist type people. 